After the old rubber and Velcro has been removed, clean the surface with acetone as you see it here. Peel off the protective coating from the rubber and put it on the scrub jay as you see it here. Then use a machinist or a carpenter's square and cut the rubber. After that, continue put the rubber on. Sometimes you have to peel back to make it even with the edge. When you arrive to this point, make two small incisions, one on each side. Use these cuts to guide you to cut the rubber off square. As you noticed, both the rubber and the Velcro are self-adhesive. Cut the Velcro square and start putting it on to the side of the rubber. The next velcro strip will go on to the other side of the rubber, but make sure you stagger the start. Again, stagger the final strip which will go onto the middle. The final step is to use a piece of tube and roll the components together. Just lean onto them and push and push and roll and roll. <laughs> 